Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm recording this on March 9th, 2012, picking up where I left off in the last video, where we had just gotten a warning message put in place for uh, when you can't save a file. Now, that's not really real production code yet. It's more along the lines of spike code in that um, I haven't done it in any sort of test driven way. But uh, we're, you know, we're creeping up on it as usual. Something that occurred to me as I was reviewing the video was that um, I wonder what would happen if we put in a really long string. Will it wrap it for us? Um, I mean, will I end up with a freakishly large dialogue? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh yeah, freakishly large dialogue. That is worthless. And um, not, as, not as unusual as you might think because, um, you know, file paths can, can get really long. So, hmm. Well, if that's, if that's what J option pane is gonna give us, it's, it's no good. I mean, it's just, uh, cannot do that. Oh, but what's this? Ma get max characters per line count. Well, that looks promising. Oh, the value can be overchanged by overriding this method. What, <laughs> what kind of pointless? Uh. All right, Java. All right, uh, let's let's turn to our good friend Google. Yes, yes, it should. 1998. You can work around this problem. Yeah. No. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> I I <laughs> six years and counting. Yeah, 1998. It's 2012 now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. I just, I, I'm flummoxed, flabbergasted. <sighs> Come on, people. This is sort of fundamental. This is why Apple is eating your lunch. <laughs> I can't believe the number of people that are suggesting you put in a, a hard-coded line feed. I guess that's simple for some folks, but if there's any sort of programmatic generation of the dialogue... It does say you can do it inside of a JTEX pane. Let's, let's take a quick look at that. That might be simpler for us, uh, for some really obscure value of simpler. Not simpler than just expecting it to work right. So I don't really want to subclass that uh, get maximum number of characters because it, I don't I don't know how big the screen is and I don't want to have to figure that out and I don't know how big the font is. The number of characters is not actually the interesting question here. The interesting question here is how large is the dialogue? What is a typical dialogue size for the platform? So um, I'm interested in using the text pane idea rather than the max characters so that I don't have to worry about metrics. Uh, font metrics and so forth. Well, that's no good. 
and it's not uh, this is such a waste of time So it looks like what I'm going to need to do, if I really want to do this properly, um, I need a text pane or I need an option dialog that is going to size itself according to the size of my screen because what can happen is uh, the number of characters doesn't really tell you anything about the font size or the screen size or anything like that. So I can make something that looks really good in my current application on my screen, but it won't be really usable overall. I think I might need to do this in two steps. One, come up with a sort of a, a short-term solution for this and then add that to my polish, my list of polish items. So um, that's unfortunately all the time we have for this episode. Uh, so we'll pick up with this next time, probably just working around this in the short term and adding it to our list of to-dos for the long term. So thanks for watching everybody. I will catch you next time.